Hi everyone, welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner and it is nice to be here with you talking about color. Today's um, shade that we are discussing is Sherwin-Williams 6258 Tricorn Black. Black. This is our black black. Whenever we have people reach out and say, I need a black black, we're like Tricorn Black. It is the most true to black, deep, polished, crisp black that there is. No undertones, no mutedness, none of that. It is black, black. It is a beautiful black. Um, if you are trying to match black metal, um, which by nature is shinier than wall or wood cabinetry or whatever, um, then this, even if your metal um, is matte, the metal itself does not have the same texture and dimension as walls or wood. So even if your, your metallic finish is matte, if you are trying to match black metal, tricorn black is a great choice. If you are trying to match, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're trying to match black appliances, um, this is a great choice. If you are trying to, ma to match new, clean, modern black windows, this is a great choice. Now, that's not to say that if you got those new black windows or if you have black appliances, you have to go with something like tricorn black. Um, of course not. And we do that all the time um, because that's the great thing about undertones. Um, but for when you don't want an undertone and when you do want it to match black, this is where tricorn black comes into play. If you're needing your black to be crisp, as crisp and as deep as it can be, tricorn black is, is where you want to be. Now, in saying this, right, it's a deep color, a deep color. Um, so while we're talking about it, I'm going to tell you guys, we get asked a lot what this color is. And the truth is, we don't know. Um, we at our office before this had several iron ore accent walls. Um, and we use them all the time for photo shoots, for our online mercantile store. We use them for chalkboards, um, for events or things. Uh, we just, we loved the idea of a black accent wall. For us, we did not want black, black, black. We did want it to be like a very just, is that black? You know, it's, it's just a barely charcoal black. So that's why we used iron ore. This is a little bit darker than iron ore. We always say this is a mix. It's like a marriage between iron ore and tricorn black. It's not quite as black as this, but it's not quite as charcoal-y as iron ore. So in case you were wondering, um, in comparison to this color, this behind me is very similar to this. It's very similar to tricorn black. Um, it is great for accenting. It is great for uh, making something noticeable. It is great for um, hiding something. Black can be very, very um, wonderful in a palette, especially because it, it, when you have that deep of a color, it's just like having pure white, right? You have the opposite end of the spectrum there. So you have like um, the hypothetical spectrum, not for the actual color spectrum, but you, you are going to feel your, your interior color palette would feel more like a rounded out full color palette when you have both light and deep. When you have one full end of the spectrum, it's very intentional, right? And it's very crisp and clean. It gives just like white wood, a black, a true black is going to give every other color a chance to shine right? It's just going to make you look at it in a different way. So whereas white's going to be a, a, a canvas color and colors are going to pop off of them, black is going to be um, almost a scene setter and colors are going to read as color. Like this is not, again, there's no undertone, so it's not going to make colors play any differently. Um, 
it may calm some like very bold color down. Like if you put um, something very green with it, it would probably calm it down. Um, then, you know, but, but black is going to, like I said, set the scene. It's going to give your colors a stage to be on. Um, but whereas white is just kind of like, don't see me, see my colors. Black is look at these colors, but notice that I'm here too. So black, you have to be very intentional with black. And that's why we always tell people, um, just like we're going to tell you how much we love a color. We're going to tell you, uh, when it won't work. So, you know, if you are not intending for it to be black, black, don't use this. If you have a roof and you really want it to be similar to your roof, but your roof actually has a multi-tonal, like three, you know, color, tri-color effect or whatever, um, then you're probably going to want a black with an undertone that will pull into that roof. But if you, like I said, if you are just wanting this black to be nothing but contrast, you need to add linear contrast somewhere. That's a great place for gutters and window grids. Great for metal roofing little ones over porticos and stuff. Um, great for front doors. Again, if it's metal like gutters and garage doors, black looks really good on metal. Um, but remember, I'm just saying, you know, going to keep going back to this. This is black, 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 black. Um, there's no softness to this color. Um, and as with all colors, it depends on what you pair it with to, to really truly understand how harsh or stark it could look. Obviously, if you pair it with, um, you know, a grouping of grayages or something, it's going to play as the contrast, but it's not going to uh, feel overall super moody or anything versus if you did have this with um, a deeper hunter green and a lighter gray as your lightest color this is going to feel very moody and even um stoic or whatever um but the, the other important thing about black is because it is so has to be used intentionally because it is a, it is going to direct attention to it no matter what you put this on so don't put it on anything that's broken just don't do that um it's going to say look at me now um now how much you use of black is is also just important as the undertone and what you're pairing around it um because it is so deep and so d demanding of attention you know what i mean so you know decide analyze your property your space whatever it is and think what does it it need where does it need depth where does it need contrast what would be too much I know really saturated I mean I'm really like color drenched things are in right now um, and I'm all about it I love it but with black you need to make sure there's balance that is very key so wherever you have this again because we're talking about if you're one if you're here looking at tricorn black it should be because you want black 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 right um, but you are gonna need to pair that or marry that with something somewhere else in your in your palette or in your space, you know, to make it feel intentional. Otherwise, it just feels out of place and like, whoops, that black thing came out of nowhere. Um, or that black component seems like it doesn't really go. It can be small. If it's the exterior, your gutters can be black and just you can have potted plants, you know, containers in the front that can be black. Um, and in a room, it can be your your furniture, your decor, it doesn't have to be like your, your walls are part of your structure that has to be black, but you need to make sure you balance black out. So if any of this sounds like, like your project, like you need a black, black, and you don't want it to have any undertones, you want it to be as true to crisp, beautiful, luxurious, clean, classic, oh, so timeless black, start with tricorn black. Um, and, and see how it feels. And then once you've, you know, finalized that this is the color that you like, be intentional about where you put it and how much of it you put and where you put it and if it has texture or not and how you're going to partner with it. Um, and as always, if you need help with any of those parts, reach out and um, we'd be glad to help you. Our information is in the description and you can follow us 
here. You can subscribe for more color conversations. I hope you do. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.